All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to welcome everyone here to the state of Sin. My name is Dennis G. <laughs> and I'm Neon Fox. <laughs> and we're back. We're no, back. No more. We're alter- back in a real world. Yes, no more alternate universe. Uh, we are back. This is uh, the real world that we are living in, for better or for worse. We would like to welcome you to the state of synth. We're here to play some great synthy tunes. And mm-hmm. hey, we have a great guest here tonight, and we're very excited to bring him on. We got a lot of fun things coming up for you, and hopefully you guys are excited. And you know what? Yeah. I think uh, if, if people are listening, if you're in the chats, pop in and say hi in the YouTube chats or the uh, IRC chats. We'll call out your name. That's it. We're going to give you a special shout out. We love shout outs here on the State of Synth. We love when you guys chime in and let us know you're here because y'all are some cool people. Yeah. Anyway, Jules, how are you doing? How was your week nah, my on the other side fine. of the universe? <laughs> on the other side of the universe. Yeah, nothing new over here. Yeah. So, you know what? We, we still got some good warm weather here in Toronto. So, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Summer's not over quite yet. It's a little nice. It's it's nice and warm today. I had to take off my pants. Um, I have the boxers on. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Keeping it clean for the kids. Uh, and you know what? I did it up with a little chai tea tonight because I felt like mixing it up, Jules. Oh, nice. nice. I'm it's having my chai, iced tea as usual. And it's got honey in it. So it's got all the good things that uh, make my voice sound so wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Better so, than mine. I am so full of shit. All right. So I tell you what, we're going to go ahead and get ready to jump into our top story. We have a crazy, crazy top story, Mr. Neon Fox. I don't know if you oh, even yeah. know what I was went watching down. this unfold. It was insane, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. I can't <laughs> <laughs> The balls of some people. Oh, we're, not, we're not talking about Rex balls here. That's right. Not Rex, but definitely a set, definitely a pair. Let's go into it. Our top story of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Dark synth artists come together to bring down Russian song theft operation. Yes. Apparently, it was discovered by dark synth artist CyberThing that a Russian ripoff artist known as... As Electromindshandabidizen <laughs> has been stealing the work from Dark Synth producers and passing them off as his own. Whole songs, Jules, were simply pitched down and often slapped together with intros and passed off as the artist's original work. Some of the, the victims, balls. the Jeez. balls, I'm telling you, the victims of the theft were Perturbator, Street Cleaner, Daniel Deluxe, Dead Life. These are big, big producers. Uh, Laser no, Punk, never, never heard of those guys. and over 25 artists in total. Crazy. Uh, in fact, after a deep analysis by several members of the community, including Night Ride FM, it appears that not a single song uploaded to their channel was an original song. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to go all in, I guess you're going to go all in, but my God, the audacity uh, but thankfully the music was swiftly removed from all streaming platforms um, you know and uh, apparently the perpetrator he is a still at large he's uh, he's out there somewhere eyeing people up and I guess uh, looking to uh, find his next victim but I tell you what he might not have that chance because ladies and gentlemen we have Vosto Vlad who is on the case uh, Mr. Vosto Vlad are you out there, sir? This is Vosto Vlad, hot on the trail of an infamous music ripoff artist who goes by the name of Electro Medismatman. As you may know, last week it was discovered that he was the mastermind behind a massive music theft operation by stealing the works of artists such as Cyberthing, Perturbator, Street Cleaner, Alex, Chaos Vector, Tokyo Rose, Kick Puncher, Laser Punk, Daniel Deluxe. Midnight Danger, Irving Force, Neon Knox, Nightcrawler, Tone Box, VHS Glitch, and at least a dozen more artists. My plan is to infiltrate his headquarters and gather evidence by disguising myself as a vacuum cleaner salesman. Arnold, this looks like the building. Go ahead and take her down. <laughs> Get down. Let's do it now.
Wait a minute. It's you. You're the Russian KGB operative that held us prisoner. No, I'm not. I'm just living out a normal life here as a musician and totally not doing anything at all illegal. Oh, okay. Never mind. My name is uh, Fasto Blad, and I'm a vacuum cleaner salesman. I'm here to um, see if you want to buy a recent innovation from the vacuum cleaning world. A vacuum cleaner, huh? That sounds pretty interesting. Come on in. I'm preparing a little shashlik and some vodka. Why don't you sit down right here next to this recording equipment and give me a little demonstration of what it sounds like? What type of model is it? This is the model Z and it's really good at um, cleaning a variety of dirt, tardigrades, things. Here, check it out. It's the... it's the Night Sweeper 9000. Oh, that is a really nice sound indeed. Well, I got to go to the toilet. Be right back. Dennis, I have successfully infiltrated the ripoff artist. I'm going to do a little snooping around to see if I can find any incriminating evidence. I see... old Russian furniture. A Siberian cat. Oh, look! A Metro 2033 book. I know this book. I read the first 10 pages of it myself at a mall. Wait, what's this? A secret room behind a bookshelf? What are all these computers doing here? Hey, what are you doing in my secret room? Well, as a matter of fact, I am a reporter for Night Ride FM, and I have to say that I have caught you red-handed. You have been stealing music from artists and passing them off as your own. This is preposterous. I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, if you're innocent, then what do you say about this music that is playing? The song is a very well-known song from Perturbator called Neo Tokyo. You just scribbled out the label on the tape and wrote the words Knife Fight by Electro Musmin in a magic marker. Heh, <laughs> that means nothing. I, I wrote on all my cassettes. This proves nothing. I would never steal. Well then, how to explain these folders on your computorium? They are literally labeled music from artists that I will steal. And this folder that says stolen artwork. It's all written in Russian characters, but I've learned a few things since drinking vodka on a regular basis with CyberThing. And that book over there is entitled How to Do It. Like taking the pitch down or removing intros or outros to avoid the copyright infringement bot. They all stole from me. Wait, what? You stole my shashlik. You gave me that shashlik and even said you stole it from the man upstairs. No, I didn't. You did. The man upstairs stole it. This makes no sense. In fact, wait a minute. There is a song you're currently uploading to Spotify. It looks like the song is called Vacuum Cleaner. Wait. Did you just record my vacuum cleaner and try to upload it on Spotify as a dark synth track? No, you did. It was Russian hackers. I tell you, my friend did it. Um, you can't catch me. Well, Dennis, turns out we found our infamous ripoff artist, but he just got away by climbing out that window. While it seems he remains at large, at least we will be able to dispose of all these bootleg songs. All in all, I say a successful operation. I will now proceed to erase all his Spotify and perhaps burn this place down with some of that Dr. Fives equipment I brought in my backpack. Back to you. All right. Thank you very much, Fausto Vlad. It's Ooh. good to know that you are the right man for the job. Yeah, right, yeah. He's not just a reporter. <laughs> He's not. He's an undercover, um, you know, undercover like vacuum cleaner on. salesman, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. Let's jump into a first song here. And oh my God, we have a doozy for this very first Ooh, track. Yeah. We have a premiere, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, very yeah. excited you know about that. Let's throw out some shout outs here. Yeah, let's do to, it. To uh, people in the chats, because uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. We've got uh, Craig Pacman all the way from Down Under. 
we tuned in and Distarian and our overlord Z is here. <laughs> Rex Balls is in the chats. Nice. Vampire is in the chats. Vampire had a show on last night, Tuesday nights. If you guys want to check out some wicked kind of dark synth. A mix of everything, actually. And Vampire does uh, does his own remixes, too. Yeah. He's really so, yeah, talented. Yeah. yeah. And then we got Joe Loke. Nice. The Traveler. Hopefully, I'm going to be seeing him in uh, Portland in October. Yeah, you lucky duck. Yeah, yeah. And then we got Mob Tech from the land down under as well. We've got Teal. And all the way from Greece, we've got Dimmy K in the chats and Power Rob's in the chat. The Tilt. All the way from Serbia is in the chat. Oh Time Strider. Night Razor is in the chats. Egg Shen is in the chats. Shaking the Pillars of Heaven. <laughs> and we got Victor. And we've got Anti Plur and Coffin Dragger, and nice. over on YouTube, we've got Deedle, and Deedle! Milo Flowers. Yes. Deedle. We love and, you, Deedle. Uh, the Guillotine. Dun, dun, dun. Howells is in the chat. Hey, Howells. Fox Resort. Bruno. Carly is in the chat. Oh, my God. We've also got, yeah, we've also got Alexander Von Zoller Sakharov. I hope I said that right. Yeah. And we've I got butchered Mutso it. 3 Zot. So, yeah, thanks, guys, for tuning in. Very good. You guys are amazing. There's so many people, and, and it's just incredible. So many people from, like, across the pond. Like, I know yeah. the Tilt, they're from Serbia. Man. I know. You should be in, you should be in bed. You should be in bed. That's where I would be. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's, let's play a tune. Let's do it, man. I'm really excited to play this next track. Oh, yeah. Speaking of over there on the other side of the pond, let's, uh, let's line this one up, Jules. Yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, quick shout out to BT4699, who just joined us in the irc chat no. um yes the fins are back dennis the finnish fins artist are back yeah yeah ferris Melik reached out to me he's dropping a new ep at the end of the month oh nice it's gonna be called love and death in manukau city and uh yeah i took a listen there's four tracks on this my favorite by far is this first track right off the ep it's called scatter sonic by ferris Mer- merrick or Melik. yes right here on night ride fm enjoy
again, once again, that was Ferris Melik. Is that how you yeah. pronounce it, Jules? Yep, Ferris Melik. Oh, my God, he's back. I'm so happy. He you is gotta, amazing. Yeah, you know, uh, man, you got to hear the rest of this EP. It's awesome. It'll be out uh, September 24th. Wow, we're getting a lot of, like, really, yeah, really deep dude. sneak peeks, which is awesome. And we have another one, too, we're going to play a little bit later on. I kind of snuck it onto the Instagram, and I think you tagged it on Twitter. Uh, this was a little secret, uh, but we'll let you know when it is ready for go time on that one. But we're really excited about that album, too, that's going to be dropping, uh, that we'll play a song from. Very excited. Uh, but right now, we're even more excited for our very special guest of the evening, Everyone, pop on your favorite captain's hat. Make sure you get your life preservers in check because we're about to go on the seas with my main man, Yate. What's up, my man? Baboo, baboo, baboo. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I never get invited onto the Howard the Howard Stern show, at least I got to do it here. You got to do it here. <laughs> that, that counts, right? <laughs> A little bit. Not for um, you guys, I'm good. We're we're good now. Before we deep dive into anything further, uh, is it pronounced yate or yate? Uh, I, I put it on the first uh, yate. Like it's like a latte with a y. There you go. There that's you that's go. how I try to. I yeah. I I I thought I was picking a name that wasn't that hard, but no matter what you pick, you, you're you're always going to be telling somebody how you think it should be said but whatever just say it however you want right <laughs> of course but you know the best part about your name too is you actually have a rapper name if you need to use a rapper I saw name, that and you could be yachty you know yeah that's what most I, honestly most of my family and and best friends that I, I don't see that often think that's that's what it's called and I'm like, yo, it, it's it's the same word as latte, just with a one letter off. <laughs> but what, it's whatever. <laughs> that's uh, that's that's great though. I love the name, and the great thing about a good name is it really just projects everything that you know you're trying to put out there as a vibe, as as your music, and it's just. Man, it's just so chill. I love listening to it. And I really, over the summer, I actually went on like a big yacht rock kick. Like I just started yeah. loading up like all the, you know, the Michael McDonald's and, you know, just, you know, some Phil Collins and just like the real good classics and even some like some newer stuff like Thundercats even doing some yep. like stuff with Kenny Loggins. And I mean, it's a really fun scene. And the cool thing about it, too, is the imagery and the world building you know to me like it's it's its own thing you know it for lack of a better term or maybe it is a good term to call it yacht rock um you know. it was when i started it, it's I'm, st I'm still somewhat close to there but <laughs> but that was that was the idea when i it, you know i'm three albums in now it's you know it's starting to shift a bit but i'll still keep calling it yacht rock because i want to listen to it on a yacht and i haven't oh, had yeah. the chance yet <laughs> absolutely it's it's the you know, I mean, I can't think of anything I wouldn't want to listen to on a yacht. Than oh, thank you. Yacht. I'll, I'll keep posting your and Bandcamp yacht. links. I think maybe if I post enough of them in, you'll, you'll, have, you'll have a yacht in no time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. Keep that's how it works. Pumping them Bandcamp links out. But then, then Bandcamp gets one tiny little yacht as, as, long, as part of the deal. Of course. And then they'll, they'll send me an email about it. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's right <laughs> uh, but it's it's great it's it's such a good feel good and for the summer it's like perfect uh but the cool thing about it is i like that it's its own thing but it's also like i'm sorry i'm gonna put it out there it's synthwave to me in my opinion my definition of synthwave and i'm really glad that you kind of put you actually have a lot of genres down at the bottom of your band camp. You're like, Yacht Rock, Synthwave, you know, Retro Inspired. I forget all the, the different yeah. categories. But you really, you check off a lot of boxes, which is really cool. Yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what to call it. I, I, retro, retro is probably the easiest thing. But retro, yeah, but yeah. And, and Synthwave, honestly, when I cho started using that, that uh, hashtag, I didn't know that there was a community. To me... A couple years ago, I thought Synthwave was the same as Vaporwave, where it was like a bunch of anonymous folks just like <laughs> up uploading stuff to YouTube. And I didn't realize that there was this under, you know, this You're underbelly. Like, Wait, this is a thing? Like, yeah, there, there's, yeah, there's yeah. shows those, names? Those, those, those anonymous Synthwave. Ollie rides and stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, that's what—that's probably maybe that was maybe that's why I chose such a 
like a logo that doesn't have my face in it. I don't know. Maybe I had mm. a similar idea back back when I thought that's what people do now is be half anonymous. I don't know. Yeah. But, but your, your logo doesn't have any magenta in it. It's true. Yeah, I, I, Sacrilege. I, yo, y'all should probably kick me off the air because I can't stand pink and purple anymore. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, wait. <gasps> we <laughs> did insert, have some... Insert. <laughs> We, we have no, some I actually notes. dislike it. It just doesn't. It doesn't uh, do it. Like my brain doesn't react to it anymore, just because I've been around it for a couple of years now. <laughs> so, well, you, actually, the night the night ride logo is just straight up like Virtual Boy Red. Yeah, we don't care. We don't care yeah, about colors yeah. or what everyone else is oh, doing. Man, Virtual yeah, yeah, Boy. Yeah, now there was thing. a toy. Uh, but yeah, so you have so many things. Like you were the like the least sounding thing to synthwave that you could call synthwave. But also, it makes like, the cut barely. <laughs> it makes the cut, but it's it's cool. I mean, there's no neon lights, there's no gated drums. Like everything feels like live percussion. You got no four on the floor. Like I was actually trying to track your time signatures, and like I can't count. Um, I can certainly <laughs> maybe count like a four on the floor beat, but you're doing like some crazy like arrangements with you know like i don't even know five four uh, oh there's a seven, couple 12, moments yeah like, it's <laughs> I'm, I'm almost always at least four 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 times saying yeah i used to be in like prog rock band so i have a little bit of that in me yeah. i think a lot of us were but uh there was there's only there's like maybe two two yate moments in history where i went prog like full prog with like a weird time signature but it is in there in, on the new album a couple times i've heard that i've heard the yeah. influence in fact the first thing i wrote was progressive rock and then i'm like i can't put that first as like the first thing i hear so i put like i even put psychedelic rock because i'm hearing <laughs> like i'm hearing like beatles influences i'm hearing like david bowie influences like all these like really groovy really they're they're um uh just forward thinking artists you know yeah, back in the you know, 80s well Definitely, so, definitely so, so Tech says five four master race. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how do you even count that stuff? Like, I just I, oh, it, you just grow up listening to to Genesis and and, and yes, and yes, and yes. then you just know how to do it. <laughs> that, but it. yeah, it's a it's a wonderful skill, and you know, kudos to your your songwriting. Are you like the main? Because you have like an ensemble, right? You yeah, have like, like a few 50 people, different people. Yeah, here's here's Yate. what I've been here's what I've been calling it lately, just to get so when people ask like, is it a band or is it you? And I'm like, okay, well, it's kind of like Gorillas, but <laughs> we're, I'm both Damon Albarn and the and Danger whoever produ like, he had a couple different producers, but I'm like the Damon Albarn and the producer. But then every song has it at least at, like at the very least one of my friends or someone from the internet. And at the most, like, there's been songs that have, like, seven people, or seven of my friends you know, playing different instruments. And I'm kind of just, like, the guy in the in the control, or the nice. guy, like, put, putting it all together at the end and singing. You're just putting it all together. You're, you're fitting all the pieces together, and, you know, out comes this amazing yacht rock, synthwave, prog rock. Like, you could, like, <laughs> literally, like, you could Hot probably, rock, rock. You, could, you could DJ, like, every party, like, I think like even like even the rapper name like you could just switch it to <laughs> Yachty and then you can like do some hip hop yeah, yeah. joints and it's like a party wherever you go which is which is you know in one my time mind. I brought, one time I brought a little uh, I did DJ one uh, party and I brought a little thing that said Yate and then under it, it said Yate presents Yacht Fuel <laughs> and that was the name of my like show my DJ it wasn't a show whatever I don't know what you call a set I don't know yeah but yeah I, yeah I've, I've never been a DJ before I literally just used uh, Spotify and, and went back and forth between <laughs> stuff nice but uh yeah but yeah you, you you bring the fuel and I tell you what let's dive into a track by you now I want to play this song here this is time wasted and I'm trying to look at the album. This is from your previous album, right? This is from uh, Sweet Shelter. Wait, I'm sorry, what song did you say? I uh, it's this it's is a time shadow wasted shadow. I oh, have shadow work is the first album. Yes. Uh, Sweet Shelter is the second album, and then Yeko Ameko. That's the third album. Yes, I, I put them all out very quickly, so I'm, I'm not offended if you don't know which one. Yeah, it was really <laughs> you kind of like just came out the gate like i think like what 2019 was the first album and then 20 and then 21 well, i think it was 2020 2019 was the first single and then the whole rest of the album came out 2020 earlier 
or but uh, it's the uh, you know the beer bug or whatever i don't know what we can say on on, <laughs> on youtube or whatever. oh no you can say it all that, that gave me the that gave you know of all Shit the crazy of all the bad things that happened it gave me time to make another two albums <laughs> so and my friends who so also the, do it so when the shit much. show happened you're trying yes, to say the shit show <laughs> that thing the official that, global that, that shit shall show. not be named the happening the, <laughs> the yeah, yeah exactly uh all right so this track here this is time wasted uh do you have any like particular things that you want to say about it or we should just this was the first song this was the first yate song that i made it was it was in i was in an old band um, with my buddies, I, I made this demo years years ago, and I showed it to them, and they're like, yeah, "That's pretty cool." And I'm like, "Oh, but I, I want to make it now." And they're like, "Yeah, well, we, we got stuff to do." And I'm like, "Well, I want to make, I want to make it, I want to make it." And that's kind of what led to Yate and the band, this project to begin with, was me uh, being impatient with my friends. Nice. And we got, we all got older, and it, it, then it gets it gets really hard to do something with your friends at the exact time you expect to do it when you're older. So I got just uh, I just made that song. And invite whoever was free came and played on the song. My old, uh, uh, my uh, drums are real, guitars are real. I'm, I'm everything else. And uh, That's yeah, incredible. It's, it's the first, the first Yate song that made. It was like a proof of concept. Let's call it's it. like the, it's yeah, it's like the old days back when they had like the session musicians. You know, exactly. Like you're, you're in the studio. You got this guy just wandering in with a cappuccino. You're like, yo, get on <laughs> drums. Yeah, except it's my, it's my friends I've known for so many years. But yeah, whoever, whoever could make it. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so here we are. We're going to be playing this track right here, and this is Yate with. Time Wasted right here on Night Ride FM. Enjoy.
And once again, that was Time Wasted by Yate. Nice. Can I say it, Yate? I don't you know You said why. it however you like, because at least you're pronouncing, <laughs> at least it's like half, it's most, it's like 99%. Clo- it's close enough. I love it. Yat. It's not yet. Yeah, it's not yaddy. 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 It's yaddy. 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 <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, a quick, just a quick shout out to a couple of people who joined uh, the chats. Uh, we got uh, Mr. Three and uh, Pat Rint. Nice. Yoru has joined us all the way hey. from Malaysia. Malaysia. Karen Zoe Lee's in the chat. Best Korea, who happens to sound a lot like mediocre Taiwan. You know, so, yeah, I was about that. to say that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> over on YouTube, Sonar, the soul form has joined us uh he was asking if we do requests alas sonar not on tonight show not tonight we do have shows that do requests in fact you know what we got to do yeah. we got to do another uh dennis and hannah do a thing we do a little thing where go. it's just a off the cuff request show so we we do fun things like that uh this is definitely uh a little bit more structured did i just say that this show is structured structured <laughs> Yes, <laughs> quick, quick! We must, we must adhere to the timeline here. <laughs> uh, we actually write things down, and it's, it's amazing. Like people think, like, yeah, this show is all over the place, but we try to keep it reeled in. Um, you know what? I got to tell you one thing. I'm glad we, we don't have to deal with what Forever Synth had to deal with because they had these specific moments where they had to stop talking so that the radio could <laughs> inject its commercial. Oh, yeah. Thank radio. goodness, we don't do that. <laughs> Do you suffer from jaundice? Like, 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 <laughs> exactly. Is it, is it call your na- call your closest chemist to pick up? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and it is funny because like I'm hearing about like UK problems and like this is a yeah, yeah. UK thing over in UK. They care about jaundice. Like, okay, <laughs> I wouldn't have known. Now I know. Um, but yeah, it's I, I love Forever Synth, and hopefully they are just kind of pulling our leg, and they just. You know, it's it's kind of like the Kiss last reunion tour uh, when they just come like right back and they're like, we're going to do another one. And this is our very last tour, though. But eh, we're going to come back again. As long as they make it funny. Yeah. Just, uh, make a funny deal out of it. Why not? Well, you know, I love Joe and Rob to death. And, yeah. and the funny thing is, like, we're always like we're always gang war talking and stuff like that. But at the <laughs> end of the day, I mean, they have a fantastic show. I love tuning in and listening to it. And, you know, I hope they do more. I really do. Or, or st- still stay in a scene, you know, do something smaller. You don't have to go all out with a weekly show. But I think they will. They're still they're still making playlists and all this. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not worried. Anyway, yeah. so we're here to talk about um, Synthwave and how you are nothing like Synthwave, <laughs> but yet you are like synthwave <laughs> so how'd you pull that off well okay here's the secret and it's 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 kind of controversial but okay so my my secret is i barely listen to music anymore except for i listen to like one song a month or maybe like two or three what? really really intensely if it's okay if a friend sends it to me and be and it's like yo dude you you're gonna love this song i'll listen to it but like i listen to like three songs a month because I'm making music so much that like yeah. my ears don't want to do it all day, That's so I listen true. to like what, but I but I focus on the song really hard, and I I, I try to like absorb all the secrets from it, and that makes those sense. those songs happen to be from the years of of seventy eight to eighty nine, so, <laughs> just a um, little bit of a different era, but it's still yeah, the so same vibe. I I love all I love all the synthwave people, and I I, I get to catch. Uh, the, kind of the new inventions during these shows and the, and the hangouts and all that but like I'm not listening to Synthwave much or anything or a- anything new for like I, I'm, I'm old I'm old and grumpy and I listen to nothing past 1993 probably <laughs> Just, you know, that's actually, a, a lot of the bigger artists don't listen like in Synthwave don't listen to Synthwave Right. Yeah, they're, they're all in their own little world, right? And no, because we're they're, we're they're, obsessed with inspiration. Comes from yeah, them. we're obsessed with the gear and the production style of back then, not uh, not of all the people t- doing new, like trying to mix in uh, like EDM with it. Like that doesn't inspire me necessarily. It's it's a neat it's a neat thing to do, but that that's not what makes me wake up and go, well, ooh, how, what is that? You know, like I got to figure that out. Um, <laughs> but you know, I'm not. And I'm, it, that doesn't mean it's bad or anything. That's just you, you got to follow your muse. You know. Yeah. Um, no, I totally but, uh, get it. it. And and it, it just over the last two and a half years, I I listen to less and less music because I'm making it every day to where like there's no reason to listen. Like I've already had my ears filled up all day with my own 
farts. So, <laughs> and, and my friends come into the house to add stuff to it or, or send in uh, stems from across the world. And th that's enough for me for the world of music until I until I hit, you know, run dry and need some new inspiration. But right. uh, yeah, that, that's that's the secret is that I'm not really in like I, I love this uh, community, but I'm, I'm not really focused on it very often you're focused just, on your thing man and that's yeah, where it needs to be that's what makes me happy with in my life you know yeah that's that's definitely the key ingredient and speaking of collabs i wanted to talk a little bit about collabs because you actually did the quintessential collab with duet and mm -hmm. man that song is excellent i think was that in 2020 2019 uh, I, I don't remember it was either i I, may, I think it was 2021. What's I, time anymore? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, these two years went by. It's so crazy. But yeah, that. We, uh, yeah, so I have him on my WhatsApp, and we talk almost every day. And we're like the same. He's like an English yeah. version of a version of me, a little older, just a little. And uh, wow, we have like the same brain on a lot of things, and so it, it, it had to happen. It's that same vibe. It's that same. Yeah. You know, just laying out on the beach. You know, you got the the sun in and you're just laying down on a blanket or whatever or just you know driving across the country you know with the top down and get that feel good vibe which is amazing um as far as other collabs like i know you kind of have this like you know like you said with your friends and like it's almost this like cool little session style thing uh did you ever think about doing any collabs with like any other artists uh, yeah there's there's a few coming um i got one with on griff's next record oh, we really had nice. we, oh. we also we also talk every day he's like younger than me australia uh, australian version of me <laughs> <laughs> so indeed it's, uh, we also share many parts of our brain um so there's one of the we we made a song that's he plays it on his on his uh when he gets drunk he plays it on his uh on his, on his own, twitch DJ stream set. yeah it's yeah it's just the very end of the night there's like six people left and he's like i'm gonna play that i'm gonna play the song i made with with uh, with the altai so here it comes i hope you're listening <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, lo I love his show, but for those of us here, here in like uh, where where Dennis and I live, it's seven a.m. on yeah, a Saturday yeah. morning. Oh, Dude, it's, it's great though. I, when I, when I talk, I, so I can only talk to him right when I wake up and right before I'm about to go to bed because <laughs> I, because Australia is in another dimension. <laughs> they really <laughs> are. This, um, and then uh, I I started on one with with Primo when we met like a couple years ago, and that she's waiting. I think she's waiting to do like some kind of you know she's got some idea she's got like a long-term thing about how she wants to put things out that's fine yeah but we, she's we, very we, particular yeah yeah and we, we wrote a really <laughs> funny song together it's like you know because her stuff's always kind of funny yeah and is. and yeah. and I'm, I'm in real life i'm funnier than my like sa uh, music version of myself but i i went there and uh <laughs> so we wrote like a ballad nice um ollie ride we've we're he's busy as hell but we're talking about it he like after i asked him like months ago i'm like hey you still want to do that collab and then like six months later this album comes out and he was like hey good album and yes <laughs> like, <laughs> i was like yes what he's like yes I'll, I'll yeah yeah let's do it <laughs> he was waiting for that album to come out before he yeah, yeah. dropped his answer like i don't know but no it was it was solid I, it's, it's either way i i know how it goes with yeah anyway i tell uh, you what speaking of new album let's go ahead and drop something from the new album i'm really excited to drop uh we have two tracks um so let's let's dive into that uh we're gonna play touch now this is another just great tune now i feel like this has some of those funky time signatures in it but i could be wrong everything's thrown off for me like time wise oh before you play this i need to get okay so my main collaborator, I mean, my main guy who I make a lot of stuff with is uh, my buddy Paul Murray. He might be listening, so I have to give this disclaimer. He he wrote a lot of this song and uh, half the lyrics, and he's he's usually the guitar on, on most of my stuff. So he's kind of like, he, he likes to stay in the shadows, but he's he's a big part of Yate, and I wanted to nice. make sure he got, he got his due before you hear the song. He's even singing, he's even the singer in the verse, the only song. The only Yate song where someone else is like the lead singer for a second. <laughs> oh, very good. Yeah, yeah. I love this song. This is probably one of my favorites from the album. So uh, playing this one for me and hopefully everyone that is listening will enjoy it. Uh, once again, this is Yate with Touch right here on Night Ride FM.
And once again, that was Touch by Yate. And yeah, man, it's a great, great tune. Now, this is off your newest album. Your newest album is what? Is well, your- Yeko Ameko. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> it is okay. Yeko- it's, the same language, it's the same language that Yate comes from. So I don't. Oh, <laughs> I gotcha. Um, Yeko Ameko. Now, it's, it's it's starting to sound like something you get out of Starbucks. It, is it like it I, does? Is it, it feels like it's like Yiddish or something? I feel it like does. so. It's um, so me and and Paul who wrote half that song we just heard, we we talk to each other in random words a lot uh, to keep ourselves busy over over the the, the happening. Nice. And uh, uh, one one sentence that came that he said once was, or I think we we kind of came up with it together slowly, just like what's the dumbest version of these of these letters we can put together in a dumb way and i and i realized it's it's cool looking like it it looks cool and it 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 sounds like a police album like you know because their first few albums always had like those kind of like yeah half nonsensical foreign right zenyata Zenyata mandata regatta de blanc like yeko ameko (laughs) <laughs> and I was like, and it kind of there's there's a couple policey moments on the record, so I was like, yeah, it's kind of got that like that that a- attempt at being exotic thing, right? In, in which some of my songs do on the record. <laughs> yeah, so. that's that's but, actually pretty cool, and, and that explains yeah. the lower casing because yeah. you're not even like giving the you're not even giving any kind of like gravity to the actual words like you're just like well it just it looks like we we tried it in our facebook chat like different casing because uh spotify lets you do you know and and the distributors let you do whatever casing you want now for the most part except for apple so we're like well what looks the coolest and then we're like well lowercase looks like it almost looks like a vaporwave kind of word especially if you space it all out but i didn't want to do that yeah no one will find <laughs> it not that they could find yeko and mecco if they yeah, yeah, it yeah. In either <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good point but yeah i love i love i love the styling because it is it's like it's kind of like yacht rock meets like it's it's not a lot of vaporwavy in your sound but like nah. the, the aesthetic is definitely there and well most of my influences have become uh, vaporwave songs that you know that have been dug up from the the vinyl pile. <laughs> nice. You know what I mean? Like a lot of that stuff is stuff I listen to. You know, and, and it's like uh, even like really corny smooth jazz I love, and like and a lot a lot of that has become vaporwave, and so it's it helps it's helped me discover some as well. But yeah. that is great. Uh, but yeah, it's a great. A- you know, just a cool aesthetic, and I'd love to see you do like more of like a vapor wavy kind of album too, which would be a lot of fun too. Like you can kind of, uh, you know, bring in. I wonder what will happen if you like mash up synth wave and vapor wave. I, I feel like it wouldn't rock. work because the because synth wave is all about the 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 persona, and vapor wave is about zero persona. It's just yeah. about like it, like it's like some weird ghost that lives in a computer made this. <laughs> so I, I, I feel like there'd be like a weird mi- mismatch, but also it's been like what twelve years since <laughs> since some of this stuff it was invented. So yeah, screw yeah. it. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it is really cool that I like the fact that a lot of people that I talk to, and if you follow anything that goes on in the scene, every three months somebody says something like, "You it's know, dead. synthwave is dead," and blah blah blah. And I just use the word synthwave. Obviously, we we talked about all the genre spanning stuff that you do, um, but you know, for like a it's dead just, genre, like I constantly see all these reinventions and these different twists on because. I'm sorry, nostalgia is never going to die. You know, we're always going to be looking back because that's sometimes the only way to look forward is to look back and to, you know, grab a little bit of the the culture that went by you while you're not paying attention. I I was even uh, nostalgic for times I wasn't even alive for. So. (laughs) There's there's just it. Like, there's a a lot of people in in, in the synthwave scene. Um, who were born in like the 90s 2000 yeah <laughs> like, well, what what how could you possibly know anything about some of the artists in the 80s and they do right i mean everybody can i was there i was there in the 80s for a bit i can <laughs> i can i will i will age myself um i was not there in the 70s but damn i wish i was sometimes yeah for music wise maybe not for like those other reasons but get like... some good on good <laughs> disco going i yeah. was a baby in the 70s and some... <laughs> oh by the way well, guys 
What? Yes. What are you guys think? ABBA is back. Yeah, did you see that? They yes. they made they de-aged yeah. him like they de-aged yeah. him like like Scorsese did. Yeah. Is that what they did? <laughs> and, they and they made them all them? Tron and put them in Tron yeah. outfits. I gotta admit, the second song on their EP is not bad. Wow, I gotta check that out. I didn't know they de-aged them. I'm like, I just thought that because they're Swedish. Are they Swedish? <laughs> yeah, so the Swedes yeah, they just don't, don't age. They just <laughs> they don't, don't age. age, right? I was like, well, yeah. that that's about right. I mean, that's you know. No, so I think it's it, they kind of did like the the Tupac hologram from 2012, but <laughs> but with them and they're still alive. Because um, that's not weird at all. And they motion capped themselves, so it, 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 that's the other weird part is it's gonna be young them, but their body moves like an old person. <laughs> so. <laughs> What kind of world do we live in? I don't know. It, I, I like. I, I don't mind. Like, I like it, Northern Europe. Like, it's like that's what they got. Like, you know, Abba is what they have. So, like, that, like that's cool. I don't know. Make make the most out of it. They're still alive to say yes. Yeah. Like, have some fun. Oh you know, yeah. I, I, not that oh, yeah. I want to tip our hand, but the last three songs we're playing tonight, they're all from Swedish artists. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. And they got Max no Martin. They, they they rock. Uh, They're just plenty of plenty of music going on up there. All right, speaking of good music, we have this last track here that we're going to play from Yacht Hey. And, of course, we'll spoon in some of our Swedish friends. Um, but this is a track. This is track one off of your new album, Echo Emeko. And it's called Good Crowd. And I'm going to guess it's just about being around a good crowd of people, maybe? Kind of. It's, it's about, in a sentence, it's about uh, realizing that you don't want to be hanging out with with people that that suck <laughs> yeah <laughs> and a, so you go back you go back to either being by yourself or to the, the people that are good yeah. to you to, to the good people man that's that's yeah. what it's all about staying with the surrounding yourself with good people with the good yes. crowd and i love it i love the vibes and you know it's just it's just good times and i want to get on a yacht with you <laughs> With this is a yacht song. Yeah, this I could, this one fits under the yacht thing. Even though it's a little it's a little heavy. Uh, missing persons is who, who I was kind of inspired by. Nice. It's a little more in pre pre punk cocaine, but yeah, it it, it still fits <laughs> under yacht. I think this one. All right, well there it is. We're gonna dive right on into it right now, ladies and gentlemen. This is a little tune called "Good Crowd," right here on Night Ride FM.
And once again, that was Good Crowd by Yate. Love that, man. So fun. <laughs> Good. Good. I'm, I'm glad my anger crowd. <laughs> gave you something fun. <laughs> yes. Because you sound like an angry guy, man. You sound like a real. <laughs> jerk, well, it's like man. it's like the Phil the Phil Collins anger <laughs> pop pop music, you know, anger. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, right. You know, you know, he he probably had an angry moment with an ex wife, but and you know he's doing it for your benefit, just having a good, you know, making a cool song out of it. <laughs> yeah, and he's <laughs> he hits those drums, and that's why he hits those yeah. drums so hard. He's yeah. like, <laughs> that's, that's why his back. Yeah. That's why he broke his back. He was so mad at five ex wives. <laughs> God damn you. <laughs> smashes drum set yeah i mean you know that's that's what it's about though it's about feeling those moments and you know getting passionate in one way or another about your music and you do that very much um wanted to ask you uh as far as like the yacht rock life is uh is this something that you kind of like vibed on as a kid like did you like actually have parties on yachts or um... no <laughs> dude no I, and i don't even think i would get one if i could because I, when i heard about how much gas it uses oh, it's like I'm, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not super eco um, you know like gas uh, guzzlers. i'm not like the the most eco friendly person i guess but like i no when i heard it costs like 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 a hundred thousand dollars to move the yacht around oh like, my god <laughs> or something crazy like that i don't know but no i but i do really like uh songs that sound really friggin expensive if for if i could pick a word yeah like uh like steely dan especially the, the steely dan th their last two albums or well uh asia and gaucho like th those those songs sound like they cost like a million dollars and i wanted to learn how, how i could make a song sound like a million dollars so that's kind of my experimentation is that's kind of what you're hearing is me trying to figure out how to make my cheap rig sound like a million dollars, <laughs> which is way easier these days. It is. It is. Yeah. But it, it is very authentic. I mean, I really got to hand it to you. Like if I, I, I learn about the gear, I learn about the old gear and there's, there's yeah. copies of that stuff now on, you know, via uh, plugins. It yeah, feels like very, PSG's very work. vintage. And I know I'm saying that in uh retro, if you know, we're in the retro business and our, our whole livelihood is sounding vintage but like you really sound vintage man like do you use any like <laughs> hardware uh or is it all like software based or a little bit of oh, both i i do have my my profit um nice. you know the profit six which is you know kind of old i mean it's old based and then i've got a dx7 i've got a couple moogs and uh one uh and sonic synth from the late 80s and I, I do use a lot of those. I have a synth, or I mean, a uh, uh, tape echo, like an old tape echo, a real one. And so that's kind of where I get most of the. That, that's of that's kind all of the, you have. Well, that's that's all I have oh. for anal for analog. Oh, man. And then for analog. and then I, I have all the plugins that everyone else has. So <laughs> you see some of these artists where where they've taken their entire attic and just turned it into a museum. Oh my god! <laughs> but it gives you that sound, and that's. You know, mm -hmm. just amazing that you can exactly. really pull off that authentic sound. Well, I mean, I, I do, the stuff I do have is what is responsible for a lot of the things that that sound old because you know the analog synthesizers and and FM synthesizers, the 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 plug-in versions of those don't actually sound legit. Like they almost sound legit, and and in the synthwave world, they totally it totally works because it sounds like. It, you could like it sounds close enough to what most people would ever think about that sounding like right but if you like if you really like dig into it you're like okay that's a plug-in which and i use plenty of plugins too but i think it's it's good to have a couple of real a couple of real analog things at your house yeah you know, your studio if possible just to make it legit which is yeah great you want you want a little bit you want it to be kind of have uh, flaws you know right that yeah that's what it was i mean the yeah. That's what I hear in your music, especially with the drumming and the instrumentation and even the vocals. It's not over heavily. <laughs> it's horrible. No, I'm just kidding. No, but that's the that's the thing is that we look back and or some of our favorite songs ever from back then. You you go look at the interview from like '85 and they're like, oh, I'm pissed about that song. It's like there's that mistake in the guitar we could never fix, and you know we had to get out of the studio the next day. And well, it was that's like, what oh, it was. Look, yeah. those flaws are. There are everyone's favorite part the, the, the artist doesn't like it but it's and like the mix so down I, I, it yeah, was manual. i leave them in there oh, some of them <laughs> some of some of the yeah, some yeah. of the mix downs like especially like in in the back in the day you had like you know eight engineers in a room like physically moving those sliders up and down 
like to get a cut like and they would just do it like a live take half the time and it's right. like i didn't really like that you know the, and the, the producer would be like no nope, we've got to go it's no nope, we've got to go can't afford it let's go <laughs> exactly <Yeah. laughs> now you can just stay in your your room 24 7 until you just perfect it and crank out that perfect sound but you lose a little bit in that perfect rendition uh when you know sometimes it's good to to have that little bit of offness that kind of gives it that organic feel right exactly but very good uh one cool thing that i did like um your video for time wasted is probably like the most 80s thing i've ever seen <laughs> now time... even though it's like pretty new technology but yeah like yeah 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 so you did like a little bit of like rotoscoping on that right yeah so i found so, so the, who uh was it someone was talking about uh vice city earlier on this uh chat yeah started yeah. with the, his name started with a d i think he's gone now but uh, anyway I, I, yes that was him him or her um but i uh i love that game and i i found a guy on fiverr to draw me draw me like one of your vice city girls <laughs> oh nice and uh and so he, he all, all all i could afford was one one picture of me so so what i did was uh, me and my buddy jay tyler who's a uh, he's actually like a hollywood kind of uh, assistant director uh, that we just happened me and my buddies just happened to know he's a really cool guy and he was like he was always just like yeah man just ask me if you want something if you want to do some fun movie making let's do something so I'm like all right let's go where, where can we go to Malibu together and he and he was like yeah and then I looked up how much that costs and I was like okay how about Galveston Texas <laughs> <laughs> which is kind of a dump <laughs> fancy, but, uh, fancy fancy yeah it's like a a couple cruise ships take off from there and besides that it's kind of just like a dumpy it's it's kind of cool, but it's it's it ain't Malibu, but I, and then I rented a, a a Porsche on this app like I think Toro it's called where you nice. can rent you can rent nice cars, but this this Porsche was completely beat to shit. It smelled like cigarettes, um, <laughs> but I, I gave him my camera. We put one of those little uh, like extra lenses on the on the iPhone, and he just filmed me singing the song driving down the this bridge in a. Uh, in Galveston, and then I took it home. And I, I, I'm a music video director, like by by day, um, or well, I guess by weekend for a lot of people. And so I made one for myself. I, I found that guy on Fiverr. I'm like, make me into your one, one of your Vice City girls. <laughs> um, he did that, and then I found this thing called EB Synth. It's like a like an AI thing that can take as long as as long as you have a piece of art that was looks close enough to one frame of your video. It can try to extrapolate what the rest of it would look like, cool. uh, like animated as that painting or whatever. Oh, that's you know, awesome! It's, and so it's that's why I look kind of weird. Like my jacket like crawls up my neck, like and becomes my ear, and like so that that's the the program trying to figure out what what the hell's going on. <laughs> and there's there's one perfect frame where it's the where it's the art made by the guy on Fiverr. It's like half. It's like somewhere like two thirds of the way through the video. You can so see, and awesome. it looks like me. In, it looks like me in vice on a vice a vice city box um and uh yeah so that's that's how that happened and then i added like some rain and some like memphis milano squiggles and all this other 80s stuff and, um <laughs> but it looks great man it's it's just like very authentic but it's hilarious that you're using like ai to like generate yeah. like footage which you know again the world we live in man it's it's something else yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like ABBA. <laughs> yeah, just, exactly. I mean, they're like doing what I'm doing, but like 17,000 levels above it. I don't think me and Jules even need to show up. Like maybe in a couple <laughs> years, we'd just be like, all right, we're going to do our show and like just push the AI button and like AI. <laughs> yeah. AI. I mean, we got Z. Z's an AI. So, I mean, you know, what's what's going it, one step further making everybody you, you show up and just say hey it's and then it's like and then the it, it, it extrapolates what you're it gonna say for the, the rest entire of the show, show. that's yeah. great i love it <laughs> so we what, forced a bot to listen to state of synth and this is the, <laughs> for fifty-two thousand hours <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh god i tell you what let's drop another track here and i'm gonna let jules do the honors on this next one here so because i heard we uh we got a good one here. So what, what do we got lined up here, Miss yeah, Neon right, Fox? Yeah. Oh, uh, Karen beat us to this one. She played it yesterday on her show. But uh, yeah, I just want a quick shout out to Proto Geostasis or Status and uh, Team Asu and Lavalette who just joined us. Very nice. But yeah. So the man from Baltimore with the glam rock metal voice, Mr. Power Rob, has a new <laughs> single out on Aztec Records. And uh, we're going to play it right now. This is Sweet Romance. 
by Power Up right here on Night Ride FM. Once again, that was Power Rob with Sweet Romance. Yeah. What a voice. I love that. I love that stuff. That He's got another vibe. Again, he's not really like that cliche type of synth wave. He's just doing his, and like, he's, power he's, rock thing then. Yeah, damn right. And, you know, he's, uh, jeez. <laughs> that, that voice. He's, <laughs> I love he's, it. he's out of control. He, he just, he did a, he did his cover of Robert Tepper. Him and Megatronics. Well, yeah. him and the other Rob. The two Robs. They uh, covered Me- uh, Robert Tepper's No Easy Way Out. Yep. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. They're going to be <laughs> playing at uh, Neon Rose. Oh, that's right. That's right. I tell you what, we do have our touring information. We have our album releases. But before we do, uh, let's drop one more song here because, you know, we've been doing a lot of talk and we want to get some tunes on here for our uh, YouTube yeah. friends. But I want to set this track up here that we're going to play now um this is (laughs) i am addicted to this song i'm going to put it out there that i i listened to this song for about four hours straight like like i know um yate or can i call you alex yes uh, okay um your uh talking about how like you get obsessed with this particular song you just play it over and over again this was me like two nights ago. I've been playing this. Uh, he goes by the name of Chosen Juan, and this track is called Moving On. I listened to this thing for like four hours, and it's it's very, very unique. It's it's just, I can't even describe it, um, but it's 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 just got this vibe. And to me, it's like it's like the ultimate like party song. Uh, everything's a hook. So I'm just going to go <laughs> ahead and drop it. And I hope you guys like it, too. Uh, this guy is out of Madrid, Spain. And the track is called Moving On Here. <laughs> You're going to love this. On 
Night Ride <laughs> FM. Enjoy. I love this guy so much. I really do. Like, I want to have him on the show. Jules, can we bring him oh, on? Oh, jeez. I think that'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> that would probably be the most popular show. That, once again, that was episode. Chosen One with Moving That's what on. you do on, that, on on YouTube. You bring in the person you got beef with or, or you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then that, that everyone watches from both people's, uh, you know, yeah, it's <laughs> it's it's really good. I was listening to that like for four hours in my hot top, and just I had it on repeat, and I was just like grooving, like <laughs> like I'm not even I'm not even kidding. Uh, you could check my. Uh, oh, by the way, I got on this thing. It's called Last FM. Yeah, this thing is scrabbling. Yeah, I'm I'm a scrabbler now, man. That's I'm, been dude. That's been around since like 2000. I know. Or maybe? Actually, I I forgot all about it. Yeah, yeah. Because it used to be like kind of like a Pandora type of thing, and now like they're like they got yeah rid of yeah it. you could listen to, you could listen a little on there yeah that's right they got rid of that and then it's just kind of like you know we track and I was like oh why, why do people want to care what I've been playing and then I'm like no really. Like for times like this, I listen to this dude for four hours, and I want I want somebody to go back to my track history and be like, "Oh shit, he did play it for four hours." I, I think you used to be able to plug it into Winamp. Like I think that's how old it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yes. I plugged it into my Spotify, and I, I think I figured out how to plug it into my Bandcamp, but I don't know if it worked. Um, but the problem I, is, I know. 
I know there's one for music videos, like, uh, sorry, not for movies and TV shows. If, if you use like a media box, like Kodi or something, yeah, there's something sim some similar, which scrobbles and uploads what you're watching. I just don't nonsense. want my porn advertised, like, because that would be like, whoa. Whoa. Whoa! Too much Dennis. Freaky, freaky, deaky. So I don't think it. I don't think it attaches to, uh, to that stuff. <laughs> I think I need to check. I need to do. If anyone out there knows <laughs> privacy issues, Dennis has them mm. sometimes. Um, but hey, music. I'll I'll share all the music all day long. But by, by the way, quick shout out to the Coolzo five 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 over on YouTube. Nice. Very nice. Thanks for tuning in. And, uh, yeah, so we are uh, on to the next part of our show. What do we do now, Jules? Album uh, releases? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think it's, we should probably mention some releases. Let's mention some releases. And, uh, yeah, let's, right. let's dive into it. All right. Well, September 2nd, Sequenza dropped an album called Dodecahedron. And I believe Karen played a track yeah, from that she did. yesterday. Excellent artist. Wow. Man, you know, it Karin really finds some really... I used to be the one finding cool shizzles, and now Karin's taking over, and I can't keep up. Yeah. She's on fire. Hey, Go yeah. listen to Karin's show. She does a UK-friendly show and a, uh, I guess, a West Coast US-friendly show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. September 3rd, uh, last week, Celerect LA Dreams dropped his new album called Cherry Vice. And A Dollar Underwater dropped their new album, Hereafter. And let's see, the 24th of this month, uh, we played a track at the top of the show. Ferris Melick drops his new EP. It's called Love and Death in Manukau City. Yes. And October 5th, Bunny X's album, Young and in Love, is yeah. going to drop. That's exciting. Yeah, yeah. And then, ooh, here's another exciting one. October 15th, Droid Bishop oh. is dropping his new album, Into the Abstract. He's been dropping singles on the streaming services, but you can't find any of these singles on Bandcamp because I guess he's just going to wait till the album. We and might I'm have sure. a song for that, though, lined up. Yeah, I think so. And then Maybe. right around that same time, Arcade High is dropping their new album called Kingdom 2. It's a sequel to Kingdom. Which is also another album. Oh, my God. Album. Some of us some of us have been lucky enough to hear this. I saw FM84 posted something showing off that he Arcade High gave him a... A sneak peek, peek at the whole album but uh dennis i mean we probably got a sneak peek before he did yes uh i was fortunate um because we love those guys we've actually had them on the show a few times and great guys patrick and and ryan yeah ryan, yeah great good people awesome so yeah mid-october droid bishop and arcade high very good so uh yeah speaking of droid bishop yes he uh he sent over a well if you're a member of his patreon you got the new album ahead of everyone else. Indeed. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, yep, Droid Bishop from L.A. Uh, his new album is going to be called Into the Abstract, and we've got a single here. It's called Silver Screen. It was just dropped on streaming services last week. Here it is on Night Ride FM.
And once again, that was Silver Screen by Droid Bishop. Yeah, man. man he just never quits with the quality. Speaking <laughs> of like <laughs> the vibe, man, he's got that it's very you similar to he's, your he's, vibe. I sounded angry about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, ah, it's he just, just never so, stops. So he mentioned, I think he mentioned once to us that uh, some of his inspiration comes from like Steely Dan and stuff. Yeah. But yeah. I, when you listen to Droid Bishop these days, I, it brings me back to when I was, I was alive in 1980, sitting in the back of my dad's car, my mom and dad's car, and this is the music that was on the radio. Yeah. You know, like 1980, 1979, 1981. Right, with the wood grain. Yeah, just, yeah, wood grain, and, everything, and yeah. cigarette smoke everywhere, and <laughs> and that sound, yeah, absolutely. It, Got a bit of Boston Journey, yeah, that kind yeah, of yeah, 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 AOR. And again, it's like it's, so do I apparently. <laughs> it's not that like cookie cutter sound. Like he's yeah, just yeah. inventing his own thing, man. And you know, you guys, oh my God, can you imagine a a Yate mm. Droid Bishop? Droid Yate or Yate Bishop? Dr- Yate yeah, Droid. Yeah, hit me up if you're listening. Uh, Droid Tay, maybe. Tay Tay Tay. I forget it. Tay Tay. We we got nothing. Um, but yeah, so let's plan that because um, he's awesome cool. and you're awesome. Um, no. But yeah, speaking of uh, you know things coming up in the future, uh, any hot plans anything you're putting together long term short term yeah i i this isn't like a plug i just really wanted people to know uh, about the fun stuff that's going on is like okay so i'm finishing up album four right now already and it's um yeah i'm I'm, I'm almost done and it's kind of this this one's going to be a little bit more like 1978 to 83 as opposed to like 81 to 89 this is like going back a little a little farther slightly so that'll be interesting and then um and then album five is in pre-production right now. Oh my god! And that one you're having gonna... ABBA on. No, that okay. So <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm branching out a bit from being like the Gorillas style, and I'm gonna do a power trio with two of my favorite musicians. It's we've already made stuff together, and it, it, it works. So we're gonna do our, our like our Genesis Invis- Invisible Touch record nice. together. It, you know, just spend a couple weeks together and make it. And so that'll be a different sound, Man. a little more rock. I mean, it'll, it'll still be Yate, but it's something cool that's down the line this winter going to start working on. When, when, um, do you, when do you think your album number four is going to be uh, done? Or uh, it's, I, I think I'm just... I, I don't, well, so uh, the last album came out in December, and that was like the biggest mistake ever, apparently, like looking at the numbers. So it's tough to I, release it. I don't know. I, I, might, I might wait till. It, until we thaw out a bit, I, I, we'll yeah. see. Hol- holidays, there's a lot of people who are like traveling and stuff. So things like, like sales and, and Spotify plays, yeah, uh, around Christmas or anything like that. You're gonna, a lot of people are like tuned out. The worst day, New Year's Eve. I've yeah, actually poor poor user is actually a good friend of ours, and he released his album on. He was like, I'm gonna do it on New Year's Eve, and I'm like, that's a cool idea, and. Yeah, it, it was. I mean, it, it was a banging album. I mean, and of mm-hmm. course, he picked up the slack uh, after after a while. But uh, it was man, it was kind of brutal because you know people aren't running the band camp on like you know January first. They're like hung over, you know, laying on the floor, like saying, "Is it Tuesday?" You know, <laughs> they don't know. What oh, wait a minute! People are saying I should do a cover of Genesis. There's a f- couple out at this point. Y'all what? need to go. I did. I did. A, I have a cover of Duchess and on spotify and i have a cover of uh uh turn it on again on my instagram and youtube so Ooh. don't y'all y'all if y'all want to hear that go hear it and get out of here so where can we <laughs> follow you on socials oh yeah yeah underscore yate on uh instagram on instagram yate world i think on twitter because they took the other one um I don't know if you search Yate most places, I'm, I'm finally yeah. sneaking up the SEO to where you'll find me. Just, Just don't type Lil yeah, yeah. in front it's, of it's it. It's Yate Yate World on Facebook and Yate underscore World on Twitter, and as you said, right. at underscore Yate on Instagram, and it's pretty easy to find you on Dem Dare Bandcamp because Dem Dare. It's just Yate dot Bandcamp dot com. <laughs> very good, very good. All right, um, Mr. Jules, I was. Mm. 
told that uh, we have a little bit of birthdays in the house, so maybe we want to dive into a little birthdays yeah, to yeah, kick I things think off. People forget that artists actually celebrate birthdays. They do. They're like real people, Jules. Did I, you know that? I know. It's weird. So, yeah, let's go for it. All right. Well, today, Nathan, one of the trio from Lost Outrider, is celebrating a birthday. And Eli Raybon, another producer, celebrating a birthday. And then tomorrow, one of my favorite artists, Swayze, has a yes. birthday. He's been hiding. Yeah, he's. Uh, although the last thing he tweeted out, he's he's working on something that's come going to drop an album soon. Nice. And uh, yeah, so September 10th, the uh, Ferrari Kid is celebrating a birthday. Happy birthday to him. On the 11th, Ballot Tour is celebrating a birthday, as well as Michael Palace, aka Hollow Flash from Sweden. He's also one half of the band Platforms. Nice. So, yeah. Uh, let's see the 12th. Uh, Drew from the last years is going to be celebrating a birthday. And on the 14th, someone local to Karin, Michael Weber, is going to be celebrating a birthday. As well as Cody from the Lost Knights. Very good. good. Happy birthday to all Happy you birthday. people. To When's everyone. your birthday, Alex? Uh, November 9th. I am a, a well behaved Scorpio, I've nice. heard. Nice. I am a, a shitty Scorpio. I'm on the yeah, 21st. I've heard of that November. too. <laughs> I'm like on the, on the cusp. I think the closer you get to December, the more of an asshole you are. And I'm November, right there, man. November 9th. All right. Noted. <laughs> Write it down. See, it's Jules, because we were, our parents uh, had sex on, uh, uh, wait, what's the holiday in February? It's blank. Why am I blanking? Oh, uh, Valentine's uh, Day. Ah, oh, the old Valentine's that's Day. That's why all of us are born in November because of Valentine's Day. Thank you, Hallmark. There's a lot for, of love and going on. Oh, yeah. by the way. Peel in the chat celebrated celebrated birthday two days ago. So nice. happy belated, Peel. Happy birthday to you. Very good. All right, let's play some more music here. Now I'm very excited. Wave Shaper, mm-hmm. man, he's gonna come out with a new album next week, right? I think so. All right, so you want to go ahead and set this up, Mr. Neon? Yes, yes. So now now we get into the Swedish part of the show. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Take <laughs> so it. So Wave turn. Shaper is from Sweden. If most of you don't know that already. And uh, he just dropped a new single last week. It's called Lost in the Cloud. And you're hearing it here on Night Ride FM.
And once again, that was Lost in the Cloud by Wave Shaper. Man, I am getting excited for that album. Yeah, Wave Shaper is so good. By the way, Dennis. Yes. Dennis, we got our first person yelling at us in YouTube. Nice. Paul, Paul something. Says, so shut the fuck up and play music. This is, this is my audience laughing. <laughs> yeah. I don't see it. All I see is... Maybe I'm looking at the wrong. Oh, I'm looking at top chat. That's why I got to look at full chat. Yeah. No, no, it's a, it's it's been held. It's been oh, held. It's been... Auto held for review. Let me okay, just, okay. Let me see just, the, let me, like the, show here. There we go. The great thing about live shows is you can actually call people out like that live on the show, and, <laughs> and they're like, "Oh, it's fun." It's we have. So they fun, start crying. Right? Yeah, well, you know. I mean, There's always the prime Thanatos. We also have the the, the band button too because you know. Yeah, we're, yeah. We're, we're evil. Evil band, people that just want to talk. Hammer. Just try to make them cry. That'd be a fun way to spend 15 <laughs> minutes uh, on the air. Yes, yes. That would make very good entertainment. Not really. Yo mama jokes. That would be the worst <laughs> entertainment. All right. So speaking of entertainment, let's talk about uh, touring and events. Now, I know Austin. I mean, Alex, your, your scene over there is, is getting pretty bumping with a good old primo and all that other good stuff. Yeah. So, man, you got a hell of a scene. I guess yeah we have I think most of it has kind of come alive during the 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 pandemic so like I don't think we've actually gotten to get all together and make an event yet yeah it's like it's been brewing for yeah a retro years. promenades out there he lives out there mm-hmm. uh, and there's a couple more people too I forget it's gonna uh, happen. that I haven't met in person well we hope it happens Jules you want to go ahead and let us know all the places where I'm not gonna be damn yeah <laughs> right well over in the uk fuse or sorry lebrock is continuing their fuse tour and it uh, goes on till september 19th they're hopping from place to place and i'm seeing all the videos and photos of our friends over in the uk getting to see some cool synthwave live and mm, yeah anyways <laughs> september 10th uh which what this weekend stranger yes. since in budapest with Quixotic, so I think he does, it's like a DJ set by him. Wow, very good. And uh, on the 11th, there's uh, Synth Valley, uh, Starfarer's little uh, thing. They're going to be doing a live performance. It's going to be Xeno Circuit, Effect, Effect, and Civilian. And that's going down in Cupertino, uh, California. And then uh, also on September 11th, back to Budapest we go, there's the Waves event, which is going to feature sets by Quixotic and Mega Hit. Very nice. There you go, some Hungarian wave. Yeah. And then, uh, let's see, the last Synth Valley Stream Fest of the year happens on September 18th. That's the one put on by Starfarer. It's going to feature Lucy in Disguise, Masked, Alpha Chrome Yeo, Micromat Scenes, Watch Out for Snakes, Elay Arson's last performance as Elay Arson. He's going to be changing his name and, I guess, style, maybe a little bit, as well as Glitbiter. And you mentioned this guy earlier, User. Yeah. So that goes down on uh, Starfarer's Twitch channel. And then October the 9th, uh, back to the UK we go. We got Outrun the Sun event, which had to be delayed from last year to this year. It's, uh, it's going to be featuring Kalax and Wolf Club, New Arcades, Lost Outrider, Player One, Roxy Drive, Paradise Walk, and Iverson. And of course, uh, finally, uh, Neon Rose Fest. Has finally started dropping their lineups for their four nights of synthwave over in Portland, and it's insane. It's let's see, let me just run down the lineups that we know so far. We've got Brothel, Tone Box, Dream Reaper, Face Hugger coming out of wherever he was hiding. Wow. Destroyer, Memrex Memories, System 96, Holy Psych, crap. who's the organizer, No Face, which I think is Psych, but under diff- it's his other style of music. Right. Mellow Fields, Blaine, Knight Rider 87, Watch Out for Snakes is going to be there. And then we just found out Arcade High is going to be playing, as what? well as Calm Trues. Yes, Calm Trues, and Starfarer, and Megatronics. Oh, that's ridiculous. And I think there's probably more. Oh, God, I can't keep up anymore. So, <laughs> you know what? So if, uh, if folks want to know about uh, Synthwave events, if there's anything in your locale, just go to news.nightride.fm slash synthwave dash events very good and we've got we've got a big calendar there check it out all right so we're gonna drop another track here now this is actually a good buddy of mine a great artist he's out of sweden 
And Sweet. This, yeah, this is a banger. He actually had Machine Heart Part One. I guess that was, I guess is, uh, he doesn't even do albums. That's the thing. He's actually got an album coming out, and this is the first single that actually comes out on Friday. But we got a little sneak peek of it here tonight, so we're gonna go ahead and drop it. Uh, it's it's different. It's again, it's not in that synthwave cookie cutter box. It's a little bit more of a chill. Uh, more or less like a like a vibey kind of album and I dig it I hope you guys will like it and uh, we're gonna go ahead and drop it right now uh, this is a world premiere of Machine Heart Part 2 this is Icarus and Quell T right here on Night Ride FM <laughs> Once again, that was Machine Heart Part 2 by Icarus and Quilty. 
Very good. I, I love how you came back with a very soft voice there, Dennis. I know. <laughs> it's you know it's getting late in that night. It's NPR just, NPR voice. Just yeah, throwing yeah, that you know. NPR voice. And but, I just by I the way, love you to from sleep. Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Yate, you you yeah, have a, you have a party to uh, join, don't you? Yes, my dad. I'm at my dad's house, my parents' house, and they're having a house party that I've been hiding. Well, not hiding from. I've been. I've, I want to do both of these things. So I want to do this interview and go to that party. So I gotta go. I gotta. <laughs> well. Good alcohol sitting out too. Oh so. uh, well, the good alcohol go far. You know that's <laughs> what I is that even a phrase? I don't think that is. <laughs> I just made it into one. Uh, but we, thank you so much for being on the show. We we're just excited to yeah. have you on. Um, yeah, if you guys saw all the chatters too. I, it's been fun reading. Y- y'all are funny. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They're they're a unique bunch, uh, for the most part. Uh, go out and buy that album, man. And it's great. You have three albums out now. Your latest just came out. Mm-hmm. And it's it's a, it's got a weird name, but it's yeah, easy. Yeah, go, yeah, go ahead, Mac, go. It's yeah. easy to <laughs> Google. Drop the links in the chat. Yeah. There we go. And thank you. Uh, thank you very much. And yeah, man, enjoy that party. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thank you so much, Alex, for joining us. <laughs> All right, okay. Mister Neon cheers, Fox. Cheers. cheers, my friend. Uh, we have uh, getting close to the end of the show here. I think mm-hmm. we have uh, some shout outs. I want to go ahead and uh, drop a few shout outs to our Patreons real quick. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, first of a quick uh, shout out to Gabarag over on YouTube, who isn't one of the ones yelling at us. So, hey, thank yeah, you. We like we <laughs> like you guys when you don't yell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just be nice. Uh, yeah, do we have a new Patreon? Mac. Mac. Is that right? It's just Mac, yeah. It's just Mac. It's new Mac. Patreon. Well, thank you. And of course, some of the other Patreons that we uh, we managed to snag over the uh, summer break while yeah. we were lounging around doing nothing. Acknowledge them again. Uh, yeah, we have people. Chris Moot. Yep. Will Langston. Mm-hmm. Cobra SS. Emma Kloster. Maxim Jonette. <laughs> Cottonum Master Cowbells. Tommel Schlamel. No, I said that wrong. Shomp. Shomp. Sh- sh- it's a what it is it's it's Tommel Schmemel yes that Schmemel is that a real name if you're out there listening let us know if that's a real name because that's kind of a cool name Hmm. (laughs) Uh, Tony Belanger 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 oh if you're French alright very nice Uh, we have a Joe Gui Guad Guad Guadago Guadagno yes Guadagno uh, we have Brian and Stizza. Yeah, yeah. In the hizza. If you want, if you want to help out Night Ride FM, head over, head over to Patreon.com/NightRideFM. Yeah, uh, give us some money, man. Yeah. It goes Z, to good Z, places. Z, Z, pay, Z pays for a whole bunch of servers to spin this music and keep it playing 24/7, except when people are talking. That's right. We don't like the talkers, Jules. I know. All right, so we're gonna get you back with some more music. We have one last tune. Mm-hmm. that we're going to go ahead and play. Thank you very much for listening. And Jules, you want to go ahead and uh, read off our last track we're going to play and close us yeah. out. All right. Well, once again, we're very grateful to Yate for joining us tonight. And thanks, everyone, for listening. Coming up in the next few weeks, we've got some interviews. Next week, we have Mike Mendoza, a.k.a. Hoo-ha, a.k.a. Hoo-ha. Modern Knight, host of Retro Promenade. He's going to be joining us next Wednesday. And then uh, after that, we're going to have Roy... Uh, what? Robots with ray guns? Yes. Jay Diggs, the yes. G Bunny X, Pilot, the Motion Epic, Droid Bishop, and more. It's gonna be it's gonna be ridiculous. Right. I'm excited. Right. So let's play everyone out. This is the newest track from yet another Swedish artist, producer Don Del Piero. It's a tribute to Michael J. Fox. This is my success story. Right here on Night Ride FM. Have a great night, everyone. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye.